A new report has emerged regarding a discussion between CM Punk and Jungle Boy Jack Perry on a past AEW collision. Fightful reported that Jack Perry was brought into one of the four collision episodes filmed in Canada over late June, July to film a segment that contained a spot which Perry wanted to use real glass for. They did not report what the purpose of the segment was. As the stories have gone the past few days with Punk's power on the Saturday night show, there are sides. According to the report, CM Punk felt Jack Perry was throwing a quote temper tantrum over his desired use of real glass, despite production, doctors, and Tony Schiavone recommending otherwise. CM Punk reportedly felt Jack Perry was trying to avoid having to work the next week which he sees as a big problem in the company. Jack Perry wasn't happy with the decision and further guidelines were put into place for talent. It is not apparent if this was the impetus for those changes or one of several reasons. The report stated, Punk's claim was that he was asked to step in and calmly said that they don't do that on Saturdays, meaning collision. And if he doesn't like it, he could stay on Wednesdays adding that it was referred to as an argument by those in the locker room. There have been an increase of discussions this week surrounding CM Punk and both his control on collision and overall power in the company following reporting that he had several talents and an executive unbooked and taken off the show, including Hangman Page, Matt Hardy, Ryan Nemeth, and head of talent relations Christopher Daniels, along with Isaiah Cassidy. With Page, a PW Insider report cited several AEW sources as saying there was always a plan to have Paige film a promo Saturday away from the building which had nothing to do with CM Punk. Punk happened to mention Paige in an off-air promo after the show ended that he later apologized to Paige for via text. More details on that. CM Punk attempted to make amends for his post-AEW collision promo by sending an apology text to Hangman. Brian Alvarez reported the news on Monday's Wrestling Observer Radio, saying the confirmation of the sent text came from both sides. Alvarez didn't say whether there was any follow-up conversation between them. Dave Meltzer said that he heard from Punk's side of things that Punk's comments on Saturday about Paige being a quote peg warmer that doesn't move merchandise was a botched attempt at a comedy line that he realized it backfired the minute he did the promo. Meltzer and Alvarez discussed the story of the day on Monday, which was several wrestlers and front office talent being booked and then unbooked for collision episodes per Punk's request. In Nemeth's case, he showed up on a Saturday and then was sent home. What both sides do agree with is that Punk did get Daniels removed from collision due to his involvement in the post all out fight that included Punk, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and a Steel. Daniels got involved during the brawl and since Steel, a rehired remote employee, isn't allowed back on collision, CM Punk felt Daniels shouldn't be either, despite the fact that he is head of talent relations. Meltzer also said it was Tony Khan who came up with the idea of doing the Bucks versus FTR 3 match for All In at Wembley Stadium. He talked to both sides, everyone was fine with it and wanted to do the match. More details emerged throughout Monday regarding both a June confrontation between CM Punk and Ryan Nemeth and Nemeth booked unbooking from Saturday's AEW collision in Greensboro, North Carolina. The following are a hybrid of reports from Dave Meltzer, PW Torch, Fightful and House of Wrestling. Ryan Nemeth was brought into Greensboro on Saturday and then was told he wasn't needed, given his itinerary to return home. Meltzer said on Sunday's Wrestling Observer Radio that other talents have experienced the same treatment regarding Saturday bookings, including Matt Hardy and Christopher Daniels. Fightful reported Monday that Isaiah Cassidy was also booked and then unbooked with Hardy, but that was not this past Saturday. In Monday's Daily Update, Meltzer wrote that CM Punk's camp is claiming they didn't get Paige or Hardy Hardy removed from recent collision events, which is disputed by others. With the Nemeth situation, the general gist, according to House of Wrestling's Nick Hausman, is quote, Punk is looking to keep drama out of the collision locker room, which is where the Nemeth tweet comes into the equation. Wade Keller of PW Torch also wrote that CM Punk is trying to keep things harmonious on Saturdays as he is fiercely protective of collision being a low drama environment, which is why he doesn't want wrestlers he perceives as disloyal or too closely aligned with the elite crew to be backstage at Collision. The crux of the issues between CM Punk and Ryan Nemeth stem from Nemeth's 
quote, literally the softest man alive tweet, which came after CM Punk's return promo on the debut of Collision. According to Keller, the aforementioned confrontation between CM Punk and Ryan Nemeth took place on the June 21st Dynamite in Chicago that Punk made a surprise appearance on. The stories reported by Keller and Hausman diverge in the terms of the veracity of the conversation, but both reported the two men shook hands in the end. The Torch reported Punk, quote, angrily and aggressively confronted Nemeth while getting right in his face. The quote, awkward and weird conversation moved from a locker room to a hallway where the talk continued. Nemeth felt that Punk was the one who shot first with his quote, counterfeit Bucks line in his return promo, while Punk's issue was how the tweet added to the existing perceptions of problems between himself and the Young Bucks. Nemeth questioned whether he should comment on anything Punk says on AEW TV, to which Punk suggested he shouldn't. Conversely, House of Wrestling's report was that Punk asked Nemeth to call him soft to his face, which Nemeth declined to do so. Punk said he felt Nemeth's tweet was to try to gain favor with the Young Bucks for more TV time. The report had them agree no violence was necessary with Punk asking Nemeth to quote, to stop tweeting negative things so everyone could start moving on from the negativity, not just specifically about him. Fightful's reporting had elements of both stories, adding that, quote, It was confirmed to us that Punk didn't want Nemeth on collision, even eating and catering, much less wrestling on the show. It wasn't clarified to us if that was because of his tweet or the relationship with the Elite. The Torch also reported that wrestlers are uneasy to speak out about Punk given his favor with AEW owner Tony Khan. They reported that Khan chanted CM Punk while in the gorilla position after Punk made his return to AEW on the first collision. Collision. Wade Keller wrote, The feeling backstage among wrestlers not in a position of power with a big contract is to lay low when it comes to Punk because you don't want to be on what is essentially his enemies list. And moving on, some quick notes from WWE Raw. Becky Lynch and Trish Stratus will meet inside a steel cage. Seth Rollins and Shinsuke Nakamura will soon meet for the World's Heavyweight Championship. On Monday's Raw, Michael Cole interviewed Nakamura and asked him to explain his actions. Nakamura said, he wanted a World Heavyweight title match. Rollins came out and the two exchanged words, with Rollins granting Nakamura a title match, telling Nakamura that he could name the time and the place. The segment ended with the two shaking hands, but Nakamura whispered something in Rollins' ear as he was making his exit. Whatever Nakamura said took Rollins by surprise long enough for Nakamura to come back and lay out Rollins with the Kinsasha. Well, that's a wrap for today's episode of The Latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe to F4W online for more videos just like this one.